the next part of our session today is about this uh, mouse merchant story stories are something that we are used to it begins with grandmothers telling us the story we look up to professionals giving us stories one such uh, avenue is this mouse merchant story a jataka tale where uh, there is a lot to learn from the the entire narration there our students here aniruddha and Anan anamika are here who have gone through this story digested them fully have you digested the story yes, so let's uh, see what is it that they have to share with us the insights in terms of insights and takeaways yeah aniruddha and anamika okay so while reading the story there was an adage that uh, continuously flashed in my mind and that was this that when there is a will there is a way so the story is all about a merchant uh, i mean a young boy making uh, the most out of whatever is given so um, it's all about looking at things in a positive way like it's all about your perspective there there may be times in life when you um, you should always see the positive side of things to come out of it if you just lament and groan over your misfortunes you will just be uh, embroiled in them and you won't find a way out um contrarily if you just look at the positive side you can see that um uh, every misfortune is temporary and you can come out of it so uh, that's what this um story of the mouse and merchant is all about so um i like that um the young boy didn't give up and he continuously um saw things uh, through in a positive manner which uh, helped make uh, which helped him make his fortune eventually the story was an interesting read uh, and i think i can relate to a few other movies and books i've read namely catch me if you can uh, it's a great movie starred by leonardo dicaprio uh, the take away from the stories were as anamika said there where there's a will there's a way the boy had a incredible persistence to uh, do better and uh, perform better always the inside the the story didn't actually brief on how he achieved his way but i'm sure like while uh, doing each activity he would have encountered failure and the way he would have gone about it shows us how and he achieved success shows that he persisted all around the other thing was grabbing the opportunities and uh, showing a confidence that he can do it so the way he went around grabbing opportunities and selling the mouse so, uh bringing out customers for the horse that was a great uh, that is a quality of being insightful and uh, having the good approach to solve a problem so anirudha anamika one thing that i loved in this story is this there is a part where he is supposed to reset a garden which was spoiled by a thunderstorm right so he he said okay he, he can uh, reset the garden nursery or garden but then he found an opportunity over there he spotted an opportunity over there where he felt okay there is so much of wood lying around because of thunderstorm now i can sell this wood and make money so there was an opportunity hidden and because of his mindset he was able to see that opportunity spot that opportunity and leverage that opportunity Th that's what is exciting about this story the way he took advantage of the wood after the drying storm shows his uh, positive perspective on the things to look at and how one can take advantage of that and Uh, being successful so actually uh, this is a great uh, story in terms of how to leverage opportunities from whatever is available yeah. uh, i was talking to a good friend of mine uh, initially when covid struck a lot of people were kind of paralyzed right okay the the normal life came to a standstill and regularly meeting people 
whatever used to happen uh, by meeting people that just couldn't happen. Uh, it took a while for people to uh, accept and try out new newer things. And uh, a friend of mine who was used to doing workshops uh, also reinvented just like many others. And uh, a few months down the line, I was talking to her and she said, okay, this is a blessing in disguise. Earlier, I used to travel a lot, uh, which was good. Meeting people in person always had its uh, nice things, but it also uh, consumed a lot of time. Now, I get to meet a lot more prospects and clients and uh, I save a lot of time on commuting. And I just need to log into a Zoom bridge or a whatever be the video conference bridge and uh, just get on. And uh, the time savings is huge. I am able to also connect with people across the world, which I never used to earlier. So, uh, so the, the, the so-called uh, challenge has been turned into an opportunity. And this is not just the case with this person. Uh, we ourselves at uh, IIT, we could see that uh, we have been able to get international facilitators, alumni who have, uh, for, for courses which um, needed a physical presence earlier, we could manage to get some of the alumni volunteer from places like England, Singapore, etc., which wouldn't have been possible earlier if uh, because all that was needed was a physical presence. So, yes, there were challenges. Yes, we know that online classes are not as great as being uh, physically present. But look at the upside. For all the limitations, there is a huge benefit if we start looking at leveraging talent from everywhere. And uh, for, for the uh, same reasons, even they saved on commute. Even the people who are present uh, within the same city, if they are at a very far off distance, online offers an excellent opportunity to leverage their expertise. Uh, for the benefit of students. So, I think uh, it is how we look at the whole thing that matters rather than the situation itself.